Okay, so this is the animal factory built at Starlight. Um, gonna do a quick little tour and see what's just to show it off a bit. Gotta have some water for the uh, settlement. And there's conduit running to the water from the back of the projector screen here. Inside I have two fusion generators there, another one here. May have went slightly overboard on the power, but I don't quite know where I plan to put this building, so I figured more is more. Uh, neat little lighting feature, more conduit, brings power around and into following that line with that T-bar there. This is the main end of the building. These are all control wires of some sort or another for the different operations throughout the plant. So all the magic really starts right here. We have conveyor storage where if I were to power on, open all the doors, that opens all of the doors in the building. Now, when I turn this on with a switch that I have in there, anything that's in here will get sucked out and pulled from from there, sucked out of there, up the elevator. I gotta figure out something for that derpy little jump spot. I need a stair over thing or something. So it will get pulled up here. From the vet this is the same thing there. So as you can see I had stuff running already. Now sorters. All six of these sorters will Oil, lead, copper, fertilizer, steel, and plastic are all the necessary components in order to make all the ammos in the game. Now, these are hoppers, same kind of scenario, oil, lead, copper, for blah, 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 blah. So, anything that passes up and through there, each of those individual items will get pulled and put into these hoppers. If it doesn't contain one of those, it continues on, goes back down the chute, then land on this conveyor and go back into here. Ultimately, it will get sucked back into there, but whatever's in here at the end of the run, and I know, okay, none of this stuff is important, I'll take it out of here and move it into that little shack where the workshop is so that the rest of the settlement can use it. Now the fun part starts, we actually get running. So, we have main power in, on, terminals on, ammunition plant full, I need some more 45 caliber rounds, two steel, one fertilizer, I already know how that's done. What we'll do is turn that switch on, activate the vacuum sorter, which is now this thing here. So from this box, you'll see where, what is working. Okay, well, it's working on all kinds of stuff, but if you, you can actually see these items dropping uh, metal buckets buckets, Nuka-Cola, like it'll, it'll just work down the list, and just gonna keep pulling all those objects up into that, across the conveyor belts, yada yada yada, if it has the stuff I need it to have, diverted into the correct 
receptacles. That's a deal. Like what happened there. But so that's how that works. Anything that doesn't, which I'm surprised we haven't had anything come out yet, will run down here, run down here, fall back into the loop. Now the fun part actually making ammo. So right now all of the hoppers are closed. Little gates open and close at my whim. I have them all wired so that at the throw of a switch, depending on what we wanted to make, right now we set this to 45. So you tell the, the, the terminal here sets the ammunition mission creator here that tells it okay he wants 45 so it's only going to churn out 45 when its inventory sees that it has the stuff to make 45 now there's two millimeter electric magnetic magnetic cartridges for the gauss rifle 10 556 now the reason why they're bunched in groups like that is because 10 mil and 556 have the same recipe 30844 and 50 have the same recipe and so on and so forth now, I want to make 45, so we flip the switch. That opens up proper lead infert or steel infert. So it will start sending only the proper materials by way of conveyor into ammunition plant so see fertilizer and steel is the recipe for 45s when it reaches the proper amount of each it will start to automatically operate and there goes 45 ACP now I had already been running it and making some 308s and some shotgun shells and stuff but all my ammo that I need will be turned out automatically by this device. I'll pump, pump. Oh, so let's see now this here, glass, glass, and gold bar, none of which are items that I need in the hoppers. So they fell down the chute, but because I don't have the backside sword on. So I'll show you that next. This is the cleanup line. I'll say, okay, I'm done making 45. I got everything I need. I don't need anything else. Now, what I'll do is close the hoppers because I'm done making that ammo. Let it run out. Let it run. It, let it run its course. Whatever is on the belt from here into the machine, the ammo plant. It'll continue to process as long as there's items in its inventory. It'll just keep pounding out whatever I have it set to. Now, say at the end of the run, there, because of the way the ratios work, there's always going to be a little bit of something, one, two, three, left over at the end of the run. Now you hit the clean out switch, and that will turn on this vacuum sorter which will then pull anything that's left over in the ammunition plant out, suck it back into our main conveyor sorter, and store everything back in here to then be revacuumed through there. Why are those belts not moving? Even though the stuff is, that's weird, visual glitch supposed to be on so it should be running but so instead of just leaving it stack up in the ammunition plant and 
whatnot. I'll have it then sucked back through the lines up and into the proper hoppers. Proper hopper. And, you know, what have you and whatnot. So. That's, uh, pretty much that. Now, if I were to be in the middle of a run, but I wanted to stop it right then and there, turn this divert switch on, and anything coming down the main feed line here will then divert from the hopper line. Instead of going into the machine, take a separate path, go into another collector that I'm not quite sure if this vacuum hopper can reach that or not, because it's not directly connected, but I did read something about them. I, I gotta look into that. Either way, I, I'm still working on this. Planning the work in action kind of thing. It's not quite settled there. But, that uh, pretty well does that. Now if I were to need to get any particular material out of, like if I just needed plastic, I can turn this switch on, the plastic hopper will open. Well, and then, I mean, I guess that's a good show of the diversion. So turn the diverter on. I need plastic because my settlement got attacked I need to fix it or whatever instead of sending it into the production plant i can send it into the conveyor storage and i suppose i could probably just walk up to the hopper take what i need and walk away but uh, you know another this is neat kind of thing so that'll divert into there and i'll be able to collect it from that and it wherever I need it. So all of these, it's a clusterfuck of wires, but it's basically all of these are wired to each proper recipe. There's wires running all behind here, upstairs to the appropriate hoppers, depending on what recipes need to be made. Conveyors don't they, they're pow the, the conveyor sorters are powered by the fact that they're connected to the loop in one way or another. More of the wiring just kind of everywhere. And then, like I said, I have the doors all set to that one main switch in there, but if I wanted to individually open and close them see fit I can do that or I can just say okay I'm done not working now close off all the doors they all close I don't quite know what the deal with the people doors are like why they just open because they're not they're not a power door at all but it's closed It's still closed. That last time must have been just a weird visual glitch. So, that's the quick and dirty on the ammo plant.